Welcome to the map Tributes of Harnin in BFME 1 on the page 2.22 for a video commentary between good and evil in a phenomenal and fantastic matchup you guys will all enjoy. We have the yellow Gondor player the Wizard versus the green Isengard player Nero. Gondor against Isengard, my most favorite matchup. And by the way, the land was used at the beginning of the game, which I totally like, by the way. Because the earlier you use it, the faster it's going to be available for the second usage. So the Uruks are not going to be able to deal too much damage to the soldiers. They will make it to the settlement over there. The question is, will the Isengard player try to defend? Because that's the option number one. But the option number two would be to just skip that and go for the enemy farms instead. However, that is going to be an annoying hobbit. So he's going to decide to fight this. And also Gondor is deciding to fight this. But remember, he will bring more and more Uruks every few seconds to the spot. So it's going to quickly turn into a 3v2 situation from the 2v2 situation. And all Aizen has to do is just to stall and fight as long as you can to wait for the arrival of the reinforcements. But the Hobbit is going to change quite a lot in those situations. He's going to throw rocks on the Uruks. And you don't want to feed those soldiers level 2. That's super important. But we have more fresh Uruks coming from the pit. As the Pippin hitting level 2. Each level will make him deal more and more damage. And he is, you know, working hard to become the Peregrine of the Tower Guard. To serve the Derry of Boromir Denethor. Level 3 Hobbit. And also he, gets in, he is getting a lot of power points, you know? Almost half a power point collected with the starting units, but no economical damage dealt. Now it's debatable if he should ignore the Uruks and go for the Lumber Mill instead. But it is what it is. Now the Uruks are marching forward and they will make it to the spot. The stable built up. The first knight is going to be recruited very soon. But he won't be there in time to protect this farm over there. So Aizen should be able to destroy it. There comes the Warchan number 2. He's going to use this Uruks as a bait. And the remaining Uruks to destroy the lair as soon as possible. That's going to be also rewarding because he will get another additional settlement. And each of these Lumber Mills will give him more wood bonus. You know, it goes hand in hand, basically. More wood bonus means, you know, cheaper, uh, cheaper structures. Cheaper structures means you can fill up your base way, way faster. And look at the eco from Eisen already. Before the first hor horse arrives, he has already four, four furnaces inside the base. That's great. That's really, really great. Uh, the knight just arrived, by the way. The knight just arrived. And also, this work is gonna follow up. And Aizen is in a good spot, but Gondor has definitely the capability and the tools to turn his game still around. All he gotta do is get uh, enough power points. So the magical um, power point spike is, of course, the three power point after the Elvin Wood, which will unlock. Oh, beautiful move! Bringing the Hobbit to this location, but there comes the vision of Palantir. You shall be uncloaked. You cannot hide from me. In Peregrine of a Tower Guard will be killed. Okay, the first knight was going for the offensive move, but this Lumber Mill, keep that in mind, has not been touched all game long. It's all about to hit level 2. Isengard had to invest a power point, and that's a war of treat. When you lose your Hobbit, but your Eisen opponent has to invest a power point for that, that's a great thing. That's gonna slow him down, it's gonna delay his industry, it's gonna delay his tainted land. So it's not bad, of course, for Gondor. And good looking beast for Eisen. Now he has a couple of options, he can go for the Warp Pit, he can go for the Armour, he can go for Lords, he can go for Sharku. Like you have a couple of options and none of them is better or worse than the other option. It all depends on the situation. That was the second land usage from Gondor. And that's gonna be the second creep from Isengard. Ultra nice, I like it. And we have pikemen everywhere. Now, basically Gondor will be forced... Look at the Gondor base by the way, Gondor base is looking empty bro. Ooh, don't play with the fire! And this, kids, is that you should never be greedy in your life. You don't want to lose your knights in exchange for 146, you know, resources. Don't do this, ever. Because it's not a great trade, you know. You lose such big momentum. You lose 680 or 720. It was even more expensive before the farm built up. And... You know, pikemen everywhere. That's how you play this matchup. We have also Lourdes. The fighting Urukai has been recruited. Just in case, Gondor might go for some shenanigans. But even if he doesn't, 
alerts early will make it easier for you to reach that spike of the of the white hand 60 percent more dps i mean of course lords is good in every matchup uh basically a counter to gandalf the best counter to gandalf the best counter to aragorn the best counter to gimli the best counter to any hero in the game besides flying heroes like nazgul or witch king because you cannot pin them you know they are not on foot or on horse they are on on uh, flying dragons they cannot be pinned we have boromir who was able to creep this one get level four out of that but just like in the films Oh my god, he's going ham. Where is the Horn of Gondor? Oh, he's healing. Smart. Isengard wanted to leave the kill on uh, Lourdes. Can he get away though? Uh, run, you fool. Does he have Palantir? He should, have he should use Palantir. Or oh, we have Faramir. His brother is backing him up. Now, the pikeman cannot catch up to Boromir because Boromir is as fast as the pikeman. It looks like he's gonna get away, actually. What a survivor, bro. Lourdes is still on the hunt. Boromir is gonna heal up to full HP very soon. At the well, he has like crazy regeneration, but I want you to take a look into the minimap, boys. Eisen, by the way, can go for the outpost at the top side. He has a fantastic looking castle, queuing up all the upgrades from the armory just to prove that he is miles ahead of his opponent, Lourdes. Um, will get the chance to cripple the other brother. And like last time though, Gondor has no heal this time. Boromir can't do anything. There comes the carnage. And Lourdes is looking to hunt down Boromir. Luckily for Boromir, he's as quickly as Lourdes. And because the cripple was used to kill the younger brother, the older sibling was able to get away. <laughs> Denethor would be happy about that situation. Let's be real, boys. Denethor would have been crazily happy about that situation. There comes the Horn of Gondor. But the problem is, you have no follow-up, they have heavy armor, you can't even one-shot them. You need three hits to kill one of them. And the horn of horn stun duration is not that long either. It's a major cooldown. It's not actually that long of a cooldown, it's only a minute and 30 seconds. So pretty short cooldown, but the duration of it is not the highest. So Gondor has 3000. I think he's planning to go for um, the Ganoff. He knows that he needs some wizard action with what a bad trample into the pikeman luckily the isengard player didn't pay attention and put them in the porcupine formation they would be instant dead for all the army every upgrade purchase from the armory you might go for for uh, saruman very soon or go for the siege in order to siege though you need to get the outpost you know because when it comes to the siege weapons like ram ladder or ballista you want to have like the shortest possible distance from your sieging location to the sieged area to the siege to the area you want to siege so walking of course from this outpost to the castle is way shorter you know than walking from the castle he didn't demolish the armory by the way he's cash floating a little bit five thousand for gondor um he's upgrading every pikeman Ooh, faramir the gate is closing on you that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen, boys. Did you ever see something weirder than that? Huh? I'm just confused, bro. I'm just confused. <laughs> I just can't. This Faramir is so unlucky. He's unlucky, Moromir. Why are you not helping your brother, bro? Lourdes, by the way, on the hunt, showing that he's the most cost efficient hero in the entire game. Boromir might get the chance to revenge. When he's fighting straight up battle, Boromir will win, by the way. When there is no carnage, but with carnage, Boromir can't win. Boromir, whistle, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. He's gonna be fine. The map is looking all green to me. Uh, Faramir has gotten the chance to show his quality more than once, but in those two times, he couldn't. So maybe Gondor player the wizard is not gonna give him another chance. Everybody deserves a second chance, but do they really deserve a third chance? Oof, that was close actually. Like, how you put... Like, that's like a perfect example about how to put your opponent in jail, right? So I think he is planning to kind of make him pin the Boromir. Smart move. Aizen has no vision. Oh, but he's smart, dude. You, can out, you cannot outsmart him, bro. Oh, what a smartness, bro. 
The Palantir. Ooh. This Lord, if he kills him too. Oh my god, he's gonna kill him. I can't believe it. What is this monster? What is this monster? What is this one-man army, ladies and gentlemen? He's like hitting the sword on his hands. He's like, is this all you got? Is this really all you got? Bring more. Bring not one wizard. Bring all wizards. The brown wizard, the white wizard, the gray wizard. Bring them all to me. I eat those Gondor heroes for breakfast, bro. And he's just sitting like a Giga Chad boss in front of the gate of Gondor. And he's like, just like... Achilles was in the Troy movie going alone there and you know challenging everybody everybody can come look at this giga chat look oh my god man lords and that's like the most unlucky situation uh, Ganav just got on the field he was like I like the idea that he wanted to beat him to cripple Boromir but not with this Isengard player Nero bro no 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 he he's not gonna fall for these tricks and he's gonna now bring the ram, and it's gonna be knock knock time. Open the gate, wizard. He's not even bothering to revive his wizard. Um, he knows it's doomed. You know, he's just like he he keeps getting outclassed, outperformed by his opponent, outsmarted by his opponent. A oh boy, this is like a showcase of Lourdes or what? It's a champion's pet spotlight video. What did Lourdes do to this guy? After this game, Lourdes will be in the nightmare of this player, by the way. He, he will have nightmares of Lourdes. And he's just leading the Pikeman army. He's straight up running into the white tree. No combos needed. All Pikeman, only Uruk Pikeman combination or Pikeman. And Saruman just in the perfect time to be proud of his, you know, the best thing he has ever created. This is the best thing Saruman has ever created. More powerful than any Nazgul. The rings corrupted from Sauron. More powerful than the leader of the Nine, the Witch King. He is the best servant. The best creation of evil. At least in the video game, the battle for Middle Earth. <laughs> I got lords. I'm, 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 if, if this guy would exist in real life, you know, I would like to ask him uh, to give me an autogram. You know what I mean? To sign my t-shirt. GG well played. The wizard has been defeated. It was like a wizard versus Lourdes. And that was a proof that Lourdes is in the right hands. The best hero in the entire game. Only with a price of 1300. Okay. Because no hero that costs so much. So less. So you know. 1300 can ever kill a hero that costs 2000. 2800. 3500. Or even 6300. Uh, like Gandalf. Did you play it? You know, leave a like for Lourdes to this video. Comment down below what you think about the Lourdes performance. And if you don't want to miss future uploads on this channel, make sure to subscribe to it. And I will see you next time. Peace out, guys.